friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a totally unedited fecal emulsification of a heart cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 5 a paracentesis has been done at 9 o'clock an air bubble has been injected and now tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule little bit of adrenaline has been used in this case it may help in maintaining the dilatation of the people and now the tripan blue dye is washed out then 2% ASPMC is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is filled up with this viscoelastic substance and SPMC is applied over the anterior capsule also. One more paracentesis on the left side at around 2 o'clock. And now, this is the main incision at around 11 o'clock. Now, capsulorexis is to be done. I incise the anterior capsule with a 26 gauge bent disposable needle. Raise a nice capsular tag which is very easy to hold. Inject some more visco. And now I use a utrita forceps. Hold the capsular tag. Go anti clockwise. Remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated people and in hard cataracts I do a rexis of about 6 millimeter. Size of this rexis is about 5.75 millimeter. Now hydro dissection is done, BSS is passed under the anterior capsular rim at multiple points the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle and in this case since this is a hard cataract I want to rotate this sleeve and expose the titanium teeth little more than the routine cases. My aim is to deliver more ultrasonic energy into the substance of the nucleus. I go bevel down, aspirate some superficial cortical lens matter and then I rotate the handpiece, make the bevel up and now I'm going to do what I call submarine job. Push the nucleus little down, bury the tip completely into the substance of the nucleus, go through the nucleus towards the opposite equator, cross the center, and as I reach between the center and the opposite equator, I use the chopper to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. It is a nice crack, but the two heminuclei are not completely separated. So I rotate 180 degree and divide the two heminuclei, separate the two heminuclei completely. And now each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments. Again the teeth goes through the substance of the nucleus and as it reaches between the center and the opposite equator the chopper is used here it is the teeth goes through the heminucleus here it stops and now the chopper is used and now I'm going to emulsify this nucleus these two fragments are being emulsified 
Artesanic energy being used is 80%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And the machine being used is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. And now at this time, I find that these two fragments are joined to each other. I come out, inject some visco, it will protect the corneal endothelium and my aim is to separate these two pieces completely. It can be done in several ways. Here I am going to use this technique. Tilt it, place the Sinsky hook from behind, use the chopper from above and the two pieces get separated. And now I decrease the exposed part of the fecal needle, rotating the sleeve and go again into the anterior chamber. Bevel down, rotate, make, the, make it bevel up and now I start emulsifying these large triangular pieces starting from its apex. At this time, I am going. I am using the spip mode. And spip mode, when the tip is occluded, we can control the vacuum by pressing the foot switch. This is the last nuclear fragment. At this time, I decrease the vacuum to 300. Flow rate is decreased to 30 and the piece is emulsified very slowly. The antechamber stability is observed and I find that the antechamber is very stable and I can continue emulsifying this nuclear piece. And here the nucleus is managed this is a bit of epinucleus, it comes out and it is done. And now I inject 2% SPMC again into the anterior chamber, fill up the bag and the anterior chamber and now I am going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove the cortical lens matter. Yes, the cortex is removed nicely. Go through the side port and remove the subincisional cortex. This is a 23 gauze Simco and the side port need not be very large to introduce this Simco cannula. In this case, we have selected a single piece monofocal intraocular lens, hydrophobic lens. This is hydropolish, and this is what we call hydroimplantation. Before that, I enlarge the main incision because I am going to use a B cartridge. And now here it goes. This is hydro implantation. The antechamber is kept formed by the irrigating proof and the lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed by the irrigating proof itself and whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated. The corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds are hydrated and these stab wounds get closed. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber chamber is 
washed a gentle stream of PSAC is directed towards the corneal endothelium. Whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time. And now this is formation of anterior chamber. Intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side and the case is concluded. Integrity of the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please learn submarine job. Go through the substance of the nucleus and in that way you break the spine of the heart cataract. Once you master this submarine job, you will not think of a sharp chopper in your Fickle surgeries.